What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Ricky. Yo, it's been a minute since I've uh, uploaded a video. I think it was about, maybe about four months, man. Three months, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to say Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and all that good stuff to everybody. Hope everybody's been staying safe. Um, I know I am. Uh, me and my family, we're doing good. Um, it's been a while since I actually even uh, drove my Shelby GT350 sitting in the garage looking crazy right now. Let me turn the camera around and so you guys uh, can see what I'm talking about. So there you have it, guys. Shelby looking crazy in the garage. Nothing is wrong with it. Well, let me put my gloves on. It's kind of cold out here. I haven't driven a car. Uh, I've just been sitting in the garage. Uh, so let me give you guys a quick update on what's going on. I attempted to change um, the wheel studs on the back end. I gave up. It was just too much, too much work for me to do. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is to buy the whole hub assembly with the extended wheel studs. Um, I had originally purchased the regular wheel studs, so I'm gonna look. I'm gonna be looking to sell that sometime soon. I already did the front. The front is done. Did that myself. Um, but I attempted to do, to do the back. The back was crazy. I'm not going to bother with it. So what I'm doing today is I am going to uh, install the sway bars. These are the Stadia. These are Stadia um, sway bars, front and rear. I know you guys see a bunch of other parts here. I have these parts sitting here for a good six months. Um, I've just been real busy with work. Could not... Uh, didn't have time to enjoy the car, didn't have time to even look at the car, didn't have time to do anything with the car. Work has slowed down a little bit. In a month or two, I won't even have a job, but it is what it is. Um, so these are all the other parts that I have that's sitting to be ready to be installed. The Ford Performance Springs, which I believe I'm going to do. So in today's video, we will be installing the rear and front sway bars. All right. So let's jump into it, man. The back should be pretty easy. I should do the front first, which is the hardest, but rather take the easy way out first um, and do the back. So first thing you have to do is uh, remove the bolts on the end links. I do have upgraded end links to also install. Um, so end links, one bolt is here, one bolt at the bottom, and there's bolts back here. You guys can see that, pretty hard to see, I know. Um, this bolts back there. I'm not sure you can see it. All right, guys. So now <clears throat> we're just loosening the brake line. I have my warm gloves on. Um, it's about 21 degrees outside today. You will need a hex key to help loosen this up. Okay guys, so we're gonna have, we're gonna loosen uh, these two bolts here um, that's holding the sway bar. This is a sway bar connector. Okay, so once um, this is loosened, what I'm gonna do now is repeat the same steps on the passenger side of the car and drop the sway bar. All right guys, so both sides are completely loose. Now we just wiggle the sway bar out and we're gonna do a comparison um, with the Stadia uh, sway bar. All right, guys, so here you go. We got the old one, uh, Fork Performance. We have the Stadia. So let me open it, get a better look. Um, uh, this is the hardware. This is the hardware uh, to install it. Put that to the side. So yeah, there you have it. Hope you guys can see that. You can see the difference the thickness on this versus this. 
This look like chump change, man. This looks like shit compared to this. So this should definitely uh, make a huge improvement on handling, on cornering, um, stability, overall performance. And can't wait to see what the car is going to feel like. Uh, you have the three uh, different settings. Usually a lot of people say they put it in the middle. So comparison, huge difference. All right, guys, so we're going to um, lube the inner middle, uh, the connecting piece. Um, it comes with this uh, energy suspension formal lube. Make sure that you lube it pretty well so you don't hear any kind of squeaks or anything like that. Get that in there like that. Okay guys, um, so these are the Steeda um, rear end links. So all you have to do is, these are the supplied bolts that comes with it. Um, you want to adjust it to the same, try to get as close as possible to this length. Um, where you do that, you wanna turn center piece so it's even on both ends. So pretty much this is what it looks like. I'm hoping the car feels different, but I'm not going to be able to tell that by now because I have other parts to put on. So I'm just going to drive the car around to make sure that it's not squeaking or anything like that. Uh, make sure I don't hear any knocking, any loose, nothing loose, but this is pretty much it. All right. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, um hit the bell notification for more videos and i'm gonna have a lot more videos coming um at you really soon um with the suspension uh upgrade that i'm doing all right see you guys in the next video man peace